Hi, my name's Kerry Badham and I'm delighted to show you today our brand new dinosaur cutter set. This is the cake we've made to demonstrate the dinosaur large tappet. So we have the dinosaur on top, which we allowed to dry completely. And we've supported it with some lolly sticks and some royal icing. As you can see here, we've got one up in the sky and then we've attached the other ones and then we have the dinosaur feet. We've also got on here, um, this is one of the brand new elements set and this one, as you can see, is the grass. The dinosaurs also fit perfectly on top of a cupcake. So we have the five dinosaurs and the dinosaur foot. The paste we recommend you use is modeling paste. You can make this yourself. Here we are using the Rainbow Dust Tylo, and it's in powder form. Paste a little bit on our work mat, and we need the fondant into it. You'll feel the paste start to stiffen up. Once it's all kneaded in, you can use a quarter of a teaspoon to 250 grams, but I just like to make it up as I go along. Now I would wrap this in clean film, pop it in an airtight container, and leave it for at least 30 minutes. It's quite nice to make the day before, so it's ready to use the following day. Here's our two large tappets, and you can see the different dinosaurs on the tappet. The one that we're going to make now is this one here. Here's my modeling paste. I rolled it out earlier. I like to do this because I like to have a dryish top. Don't want it too thick. So we place our tappet on top, slide it around, and you can feel your mat underneath. That way you know your paste isn't too thick. Remove the excess, and then I go over with my finger, so the embossing shows really nicely. And you can either pop this through with a soft brush, where you can just flick it on your wax surface. We're going to decorate our dinosaur. So here we're using the essential shapes. Tap them out. And I'm just using water to attach them. Some people like to use edible glue, but if you're using modeling paste, once you put water on, it will activate the tyro that we put in it earlier and make it glue anyway. So now we're going to decorate the spine of our dinosaur. here as you place your we only need the top part so we don't need to cut it out completely but you can if you want to place it on top just as we did earlier remove the excess come out nice and easy and then what I did was I just cut off the little spiky bits and then we attached them all individually to our dinosaur. Again, attaching them with water. Stuck to my finger. Now we're going to cut out some little toes and the eye. So again, we place our dinosaur cutter on top. And we only want the eye. It's falling out of the cutter. I'm gonna press that with my finger. 
and then I'm going to remove this section here. So for the feet, all I did was take a tiny piece of fondant in this or modeling paste in the same color, slightly smaller. And you can either make two small balls, or if you want to, pop a little line down the middle and then place them on. It's very warm here today, so they keep sticking to my fingers. There. And then repeat it again for the second foot. As you can see here, we've got a little black dot in the eye, so you can either use some black modeling paste, but what I've used is a edible pen. But you need to make sure that this is completely dry before you apply it. So we have a little bit on this one already, but all you would simply do is just color it in. And if you want to, you can give a little eyebrow or you can give eyelashes. It's entirely up to you. Now we're going to make the dinosaur foot. Place your large tappet on top of the modeling pad, slide it round so you can feel the mat underneath. Remove the excess. And then use your finger just to ensure the embossing shows. So there we have our dinosaur fat. And to decorate it, we're going to use the essential shapes. And I've used the third circle down. You don't need to add these, but you can if you want to, or it, you could put the number of a child's birthday on there as well. That'd be quite a nice idea. On here, you can see this is one that we did earlier. And if you want to, again, just as we did with the dinosaur, you can place the cutter on top and you can cut out and make the claws in an alternative colour. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed our video for our brand new dinosaur large tappet cutter set.